complementary angles. Complementary angles are two angles that add up to 90 degrees. So as you can see the two angles below, 65 degrees plus 25 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. So how can we remember that complementary angles are 90 degrees? Well, if we look at the number 90, we can make a C in the number 9. Or we could also think that it's always right to complement, and a right angle is 90 degrees. Find the missing angle X. So since we know complementary angles are equal to 90 degrees, we can write an equation using the information we have. That equation would be x plus 40 is equal to 90. Then we would solve it just like any other equation, which means we want to get the x by itself. So in order to get rid of that 40, we would want to do the inverse operation. So since it starts off as plus 40, the opposite of plus 40 is to subtract 40. And whatever we do on one side, we also have to do on the other side as well. This will leave us with x is equal to 50. Since we know that both angles are equal to 90 degrees, what we could also do is take 90 and subtract the angle we have, which in this case was 40. So 90 minus 40 would give us our missing angle of 50 degrees. All right, I want you to try one out. Find the missing angle X. I would recommend you pause the video now and resume when you're ready to see if your solution is correct. All right, let's take a look. The missing angle X is equal to 65 degrees. If you had this one incorrect, I would recommend you pause and see if you can find your mistake. Supplementary angles. Supplementary angles are two angles that add up to 180 degrees. So as you can see in the picture, 60 degrees plus 120 degrees are equal to 180 degrees. And remember, 180 degrees is always going to make a straight line. So how can we remember that supplementary angles are equal to 180 degrees? If we write the number 180, there's actually an S in the 8. So supplementary means 180. Find the missing angle X. Since we know that supplementary angles are equal to 180, we can write an equation to help us solve for the missing angle. This equation would be X plus 45 is equal to 180. Now we would solve it just like any other equation, which means we want to get the x by itself. We can do this by applying the inverse or opposite operation. Since we are adding 45 to the x, we want to do the opposite of that, which is to subtract 45. And whatever we do on one side of the equal sign, we also have to do on the other. This will leave us with x is equal to 135. There's also another way we could solve it though. Since we know the two angles are equal to 180 degrees, we can simply do 180 minus 45, which is equal to 135. So the missing angle is 135 degrees. All right, now I have a problem I want you to solve. Find the missing angle X. I would recommend you pause the video now, solve, and resume when you're ready to see if your solution is correct. All right, let's take a look. The missing angle X is equal to 85 degrees. If you had this one incorrect, I would recommend you pause and see if you can determine your mistake. Thank you for watching.